I knew when I was five or six that I wanted to be an artist when I grew up. I'm not sure how I knew that, but I, I kind of knew that there was no other option. So everything was leading in that direction. My name's Stephen Dixon, and I was born in New Brunswick, and I'm a printmaking technician demonstrator at the University of Alberta. My position at the university is uh, classified as a technician demonstrator, and my job is to oversee the printmaking facility and teach students technical processes and uh, maintain the equipment and make sure the facility runs properly. They are nice and flat and aren't wrinkled, and uh, they go over the uh, printing paper. My favorite part of the job is just dealing with people. Um, we have a new group of students every year. They're always interesting and it's always fun to get to know them and work with them. It's the people but also I, I love the techniques that I work with. I love to make art and that's, that's the whole reason for getting into this. So it's the best of both worlds in a lot of ways. Slowly peel this back so all the ink transfers. This piece behind me is a photograph of, of a gas plant in southern Alberta. This image um, is part of a series of work I'm doing, a much broader work, a group of works that involve mine sites and, and now gas plants. So abandoned factories and um, facilities mostly related to um, natural resources. There's a quotation I like to use, it's, you know, it's about uh, everything that you see represents the past, the future, and the present. It's just how do we interpret that? So I view these as archaeological sites almost. When I look at these old factories, I, I try to understand the mindset of the people who built them, worked in them, exploited the resources, and uh, where that sits in our society today. My name is Mark Signer. I'm a technician here in the Department of Art and Design in the printmaking area. Uh, the print behind me is uh, called uh, Permission Pork Shop. And uh, lately I've been going to uh, Beijing to a uh, residency there. I was really uh, struck by it when I first saw it and I immediately started taking pictures of it because everything about it, I think the color, the canopy, the lights, the fact that the meat was all laid out there, it was just extraordinary to me. For me it's about, you know, really engaging these people and uh, putting myself in this odd position where I am an objective observer. Oh yeah, it's always worth doing. Um, if you, even if the work is unsuccessful totally, uh, the process is worth going through, you've learned something and even if it's what not to do, it's always, uh, it's always fun. <laughs>